Our opening hymn is number 570, Let Heaven Rejoice. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim to every land, Hosanna to our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. And in the copy. Your voice. Proclaim the glory it to of the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land. Hosanna to our King. Rise in splendor, shake off your sleep, put on your robes of joy. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, Hosanna to our King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you rose gloriously from the dead, giving us the hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you ascended in glory to your Father's right hand and now intercede in our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fulfilled your promise and sent the Holy Spirit upon us to lead us and guide us on our way to the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant we pray that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night I sought him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me, and they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O oh God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life my lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, 
and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Hallelujah. Father, may I have your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily the and fit in the proclaim this holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me for I have not ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And they reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many years ago, when I was in a different parish, I was given an individual instructions in the Catholic faith, and usually every time he came, he was very upbeat and very eager to learn more about our faith. But one day he came and I could tell right away that he was kind of down. And I asked him what was going on and he said, well, I was telling some of the guys at work that I was uh, taking instructions to become a Catholic and they started giving me a hard time. And one of them said, don't you know that everything Catholics believe is based on the word of a prostitute? Well, I had heard a lot of derogatory remarks about the Catholic Church and the Catholic faith, especially from people who know nothing about it. I got to think it for a bit and then I, I, I realized, well, in a sense, maybe, maybe that person was right. Um, the first person who saw the risen Lord and proclaimed his presence to others 
was Mary Magdalene. And on through the ages in history, some people have identified her with the woman in the gospel who was caught in the act of adultery and was going to be stoned. And Jesus uh, rescued her by challenging those who were without sin to cast the first stone. And then he forgave her. Now, we don't really know if that identification is true or not. We do know from the gospel, it says that Jesus had driven seven demons out of Mary, whatever that means. Demons at the time of Jesus could have also been an illness or something. In any case, she became one of his most devoted followers. One of the few people who had the courage to follow him all the way to Calvary and stood with Mary at the foot of the cross. And so we saw in that gospel today that on Easter Sunday, Mary first went out to the tomb and found it empty. She went back and told the apostles and Peter and John came out. They found the tomb was empty and then they went away, but Mary stayed behind. And that's when Jesus appeared to her and told her to go out and tell the others uh, that she had seen him. Um, a lot of people question the truth of the gospels and say, well, Jesus didn't really die, rise from the dead, etc." cetera. Um, some maintain that the gospel stories were made up. I think today's gospel kind of argues against that. At the time of Jesus, women didn't have many rights. They were regarded as second class citizens and they, re they considered their, their testimony to be unworthy. So a woman, woman would never be asked to give testimony in a trial or anything like that because I'm sorry ladies, but you're awfully emotional and sometimes you get things confused. Uh, so if they were making up the gospels, they certainly would have not had Mary Magdalene being the one to proclaim the good news. They would have Peter and John going to the tomb early in the morning and not Mary. The apostles were cowering behind locked doors. And only after Mary came back and reported the tomb was empty did Peter and John have the courage to go and check it out. And then they left and Mary stayed behind. Now, if they were making up that story, Jesus would have first appeared to Peter because you could rely on his testimony and the other apostles. So the very fact that Mary was the first to proclaim the good news lends support to the truth of the gospels. Now we can never prove that Jesus rose scientifically, but all these circumstantial evidence points to the fact that he did. And this is one bit of that evidence that Jesus first appeared to Mary and she was the first to proclaim the good news. The important thing about Mary is that she was totally faithful to the Lord Jesus. She followed him faithfully to the foot of the cross um, and um, tried to be with him in whatever way she could to help him in that way. And that's the virtue in her that we can try to imitate. And uh, obviously she loved the Lord very deeply to be able to do that. We ask her to help us to grow in our love for the Lord Jesus and then to proclaim that love to others by what we say and do. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, who sent your Son Jesus to be our Savior, and he willingly suffered and died on the cross for us. Aware of his great love for us and yours, we come to you with confidence and humbly ask you to grant us these favors which we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Hannafeld, and Bishop Conley, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who serve us in public office, that they will strive to work together for what is best for our country, we pray to the Lord. For all families, the building blocks of society, that each member will show love and respect, patience and willingness to work together, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience God's healing power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our departed loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations, the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all policemen, highway patrolmen, law enforcement officers, and firemen, that they may be kept safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For continued favor of weather and thanks for the rain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also ask to pray for Pastor Christensen, who is very ill and having surgery today, for Lois Doman, that they may recover from their injuries and surgery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Doris Hoff, who will be buried from our parish on Friday, that she may know the joys of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer this Mass this morning for Charles Gable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for me. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and <coughs> earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
and all you have created right it gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may be obtained and obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Isidore, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for filling help. May the sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, <clears throat> Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, who you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 602, I Have Loved You. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the earth and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you, with an everlasting love I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his gloom. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. 
I have called you and you are mine. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us the persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Our final hymn is number 575. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your works. Thanks be to God. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Worthy are you, O Paschal Lamb, Wisdom and strength belong now to you. You laid down your life and died upon the cross. We be become a people of hope. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Worthy are you, O bread of life. Become to to you, you lie down. And rising to new life. Become a people of praise. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Thank you, Larry.